Welcome back guys to another episode of the cat lady and uh, if I'm right we were about to scare that bird that is on our balcony and I think I found what we need I just saw this right by our door it's a hat an old hat it's been in hanging here for years so let's take it and I think it's gonna be enough so let's just go to the balcony let's enter let's use it and now let's get it and yes it works That's right and don't ever come back you horrible creature Miss Scarecrow here is going to guard this home from the likes of you so now we're gonna be able to smoke in peace I guess and yeah, for sure, I have our coffee. Finally. I'm back in my old life. But how can I restore what's been broken for years? I don't so know. far, nothing seems to go right. Every little thing is against me. Maybe it's my destiny to lose after all. And now those parasites? Like if it wasn't enough. But I killed Dr. X, and I saved somebody's life. That felt good. It's getting late. I should summon the cats now. I want to see them tonight. Let's go summon the cats. As she asked. Oh, we're back to the river. Standing by the river. I close my eyes. One jump and I'm there. Oh no. Go back on the other side of the fence, please. No. Don't, don't do anything Someone stupid. Someone jumped after me. He will never be my friend. I'm not really sure what it means, but... Let's see, cats always pay a visit when I play the piano. It's a little late, but do I really care? I don't care, I want to see my cats. Let's go ahead. Here they are. Coming from the roofs. They are kind of big. That's weird. And now they look smaller. <laughs> Come inside, my darlings. I've missed you. And who's that? Teacup. I bet you thought you'd never see me again. Well, make yourselves at home. Dinner is ready to be served. So, can we use the food? I need to put it in the cat bowl, alright? Let's see where... Oh, there are the bowls. These are for my cats. I always put the food out for them once they're here. Alright, so let's... Here's the food. Come on everybody, gather around. It's time for dinner. So, yep, yeah, there is three of them. Can we do anything? Nope. Let's just go back in and let them eat. Oh, there's a fourth one? You never eat my food, Teacup. Already had your dinner, have you? No, I get it. I know. You're a good friend. The best friend I have, really. <coughs> the only friend in the whole fucking world. You come over to keep me company and want nothing in return. I appreciate it. You should know. If you could know what I've been through lately. I've been to hell and back, my boy. But I'm here now. In my flat. Alive. And it's still the same mess that it's always been. 
I'm not sure how to deal with all this anymore. Don't know if I can. I'm pretty sure Teacup is I wish the... I could be like you. At peace with the world. Always smiling. Is the old lady. Someone's at the door. I'm sure. But who could it be so late at night? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Teacup is the old lady. She said that she was by my side when everything happened, so... It will make sense. So let's just answer the door, maybe... It's... I don't know. Let's see who it is. Are you out of your mind? Do you all know right. what time it is? We've all had it with you and your bloody cats! I think his mind is mad. Hmm, I think. Let's, what are you talking about? I suggest you change your tone right now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb anyone. I'm not sorry, I mean, I mean to summon my cat. My cats. So, I suggest let's you go change with this. your tone right now. Don't tell me about my tone, I'll have any tone I like. If it's alright for you to play the fucking piano in the middle of the night, then I can bloody raise my voice if I want to. You think you own this place? You think any of us here care about your stinking cats? They are a bloody nuisance! Alright. So... He's an asshole. I didn't realize it was so late. No, I did. Get lost, you bald, ugly man. I'm done talking with you. Get lost, you bald, ugly man. That's good. I'm done talking to you. What? How dare you? This is going to stop. One way or the other, you crazy cat lady. If this happens again, you'll see pest control stepping in. And it won't be pretty. Hell, I'll poison your fucking cats myself if I have to. Point that finger at me again, and I will break it. <laughs> I'm done talking to you. Go fuck yourself. Oh no, the Red Goge reached the maximum. That's not good. I can't move. I can't control her, oh, she won't do anything stupid. I tried so hard to make her happy. I just messed up on the cheeseburger. Damn cheeseburger. I also messed up on the cow on the coffee the first time. music Teacup, please help me. No? Standing by the river, I'm thinking. Will I jump again? Please don't. No. Behind the closed doors, I have fallen in love with the razor. I'm not sure what it means. But... Chapter 4 Bullet for Susan
I should have been nice with this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's not where we live. And there's definitely someone living there. There, I don't know who that is. And I don't know who is this guy. I hope it's not me. Please tell me it's not Susan. Alright, that was awkward. I don't know what happened. I've slept all night, and most of the day. Why am I still feeling tired? Someone's at the door. I really hope it's not him again. Why is everyone coming out my door right now when nobody cared about me before? That's weird. La la la. Let's just go answer the door. Oh, it's a girl this time. Hello, Miss Ashworth. How are you? Are you feeling better? She looks nicer than the last guy. Do I know you? Of course. You don't remember me. My name is Mitzi Hunt. We met a few days ago. You were out cold at the time. Those pills you had worked real good. You probably had one too many, mind you. Uh, maybe yeah, I had. I took too many. So it's you, I had a feeling you'd turn up. Yep, yeah, I'll go with this. So it's you. I had a feeling you'd turn up sooner or later. It is me, indeed. A girl who got in the way and fucked everything up. I'll understand if you're angry at me. It wouldn't surprise me if you blame me for calling the ambulance and saving your life, but I had other reasons for it too. Personal reasons. It's important. It's important. That's why I came here the other night. To talk to you. So she's the girl that saved my life. If you want me to tell you to thank you. No. I don't wanna make her leave. Let's try to see if we can get some company. Maybe that would help Susan. So. Why would you see. want to talk to me? It makes no sense. I saw the ad you'd put in the paper. It seems you have a room to rent. I. They still print that? It was months ago. Nobody ever called. I forgot all about it. I gave up on it actually. Well, I'd like to be your lodger, Miss Ashworth. But... You've got the room, and I've got the money. Won't that work for both of us? I'm very tidy. I don't make much noise, and... I promise not to spend too long in the bathroom in the morning. <laughs> I don't really... I read your suicide note, you know. I'm sorry. But I did. I understand that you like your loneliness. You stray from people. I get it. But I won't get in the way. I promise I will give you your space. You won't even know that I'm here half the time. What do you think? Do we have a deal? Well, I guess I could do with some extra money, but... Great! Can I come in? <laughs> that was a but. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. Uh, the 
Spare my eye is pretty bad, you should know. I need to get in that knife. I'm not sure I like the door. Let's go with this. I wanna know why she said that. You said you were my daughter at the hospital. You're yep. a little liar, aren't you? How can I trust you? How should I know you won't slit my throat when I sleep? Jesus, what's wrong with you? Slit your throat? <laughs> Are you always so suspicious of people? If I wanted to do such a thing, I would never have bothered saving you, would I? Just think about it for a second. I was trying to avoid all the stupid questions. I didn't know what else to say. That seemed like an easy option at the time. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me come in the ambulance with you. And I wanted to see if you've made it. Maybe she will want to kill her my she want to kill her by herself. And that's why she saved me, like to kill me again because she's a parasite. I don't know. Like Dr. X was torturing his patient. Maybe she wanna do the same thing or something like this. Let's go with Let's go with the room. This spare room I have is pretty bad, you should know. I'm not fussy. It's not for long anyway. Just a few weeks, maybe. Anything is better than what I've got at the moment. Which is? I slept at the train station last night. There's a guy there who talks to rats. You should see him. Wait, can you even afford rent for the room? Sure. I'll pay you for two months in advance. Money's not an issue. Why not go to a hotel, then? I hate hotels. More than train stations. With homeless weirdos and rats. Robbie? Oh no, he's cool. He's alright. And he kept the rats <laughs> away. He's alright. He's only talking to rats. Yeah, that's no problem. It's normal. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go with the lock How door. How did you that's get in weird. that night? I'm sure I locked the door. Well... Okay, I'll tell you. You won't like it probably, but I'll tell you. I picked the lock. You did what? Look, I know it sounds like I'm some sort of criminal, but believe me, I'm not. My dad was a master locksmith. He knew everything there was to know about locks. Uh, he taught me some of that stuff too. So that's why. Look, I've got this little box. I always carry it with me. There are a few types of lock picks in it. They're very expensive. Custom made. It's now the only thing that reminds me of him. I see. But you know, it does sound like your father was really a burglar, not a locksmith. <laughs> it's not important anymore. I guess it isn't. But what gave you an idea that you can pick the lock on my front door and just barge in uninvited? I heard the cats. They were going crazy. It was like if all hell broke loose inside. The noise they made. It was incredible. Like ghosts howling. And for a while, it turned into an almost human cry. Well, anyway, I kept banging on the door, but you were already asleep. In a coma or whatever. So I pulled out a sea rake and got the door open. I... You could say I had a hunch. A hunch. Great. I had a hunch that something was very wrong. And I made no mistake, did I? So the cats saved me. Because of their noise. Why do you want this room so much? Why Let's do you want this room this. so much? Let's face it. This flat's falling apart. It's cold, it's dark, it's a bit moldy. This is the old part of town where nothing ever happens. It's far from the city center, and there are only two buses going through here, and that's if you're lucky. And I'm known around here as a fucked up, wicked cat lady. They'd burn me at the stake if they could. They'd put me in a bag and drown me in the river like a litter of kittens. I'm not exactly great company for a young girl like yourself. Who are they? People. Just people. I don't give a fuck about people, Miss Ashworth. But I do like cats. You think they'll smell the rats on me? Really need a shower. Alright. So she look, she look fine. I'm sure you'll change your mind when you see it. I'd love to see it. 
and I'm sure it isn't as bad as you picture it. The window is stuck, and it doesn't shut properly. It's all right. I like fresh air. There's clutter everywhere. I'll tidy up. It's got a funny smell. I'll burn some joysticks to cover it up. I love joysticks. Fine. I give she up. She got an answer to Follow everything. Follow me. You can see it for yourself, if you're so stubborn. Let's... Let's see. Where is she? Is she coming? There she is. So... It's right here. This there room's you go. perfect! Really? What about all this clutter? I'll move some stuff to the side if that's okay with you. But most of it I can use. All I really need is a bed to sleep and a roof over my head to cover me from that rain. And a power outlet so I can charge my laptop. Oh, and somewhere to watch too. You got a shower, right? I'm dying for a shower. Is there anyone I can contact for reference? No, I don't want reference. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Mention some personal reason for staying here and support. Let's not go with the <laughs> emo subculture. That could insult her if it's not her kind. So let's go with the. Uh, you go with mentioned this. some personal reasons for staying here. Yes. It's a long story though. I don't really want to bore you with all that personal crap. Okay. In that case, could you give me the short version? Yeah, alright. I'm looking for someone. I don't really know this person. But it's a... Friend of a friend. I only ever talk to this guy online, so... I don't know what he looks like. That's not a good oh, idea. I love this lamp. Does it work? What was I talking about? Oh, yes. I don't know what he looks like. But I know my way around him. I managed to track him down. Turns out he lives here, in this building somewhere. What I don't know is which flat he lives in. There are eight flats here altogether. He's in one of them, and I must just figure out which one. It shouldn't be too hard. What do you want from this person? I, I just want to talk to him. He's done something... really bad. Something horrible. I need to talk to him to get... Closure, you know. Just talk. Are you sure? Yep. I want to meet face to face with him. That's all. Yeah, in some kind of trouble. I think this question is the proper one right now. You're not in some kind of trouble, are you? Do I really look like some kind of a serial murderer to you, Miss Ashworth? I don't know. What do serial murderers look like anyway? Scar across the face, an eye patch, <laughs> stubble, those sort of things, I guess. That's a pirate you've just described. Like just add a wooden peg leg and we've got a full picture. But who knows? I'm no expert on murderers. Not yet, anyway. Is there anyone I can contact? So let's go with the emo, emo subculture, I guess. Because I don't care about reference. She looks fine. Are you I a trust part of her. that emo subculture? Please don't say that word ever again. All right. No, this is just how I dress. I grew up listening to real rock and roll, not that emo crap. I hate to be a part of that generic bandwagon. I knew it. Okay. Her off. I knew really, it. a sensitive I subject knew. for you. You know, people seem to think that just because someone dresses in black, they're cool. Emo. You can't generalize like that. It's more complicated. I dress in black too. That's of course. true. That's because black is the best color. Period. It's not a color. Well, well let's go with your preference. Is there anyone I can contact for references? Well, I've never really rented a room before, so not really. I've lived with my mum all my life. Recently, that is. What happened I to could her? I give mom? her a call. Oh, that will be a perfect spot for my post out there. Yeah, sure, that'd be okay. You know, you've been asking me all these questions, and I never had a chance to ask about how you're feeling. I mean, you've just gone through a terrible experience. 
You barely survived. I suppose I might be out of line to ask you this, but I'm really curious as to why you tried to kill yourself. What made you do that? What did you feel? Long story. Won't bore you with this personal crap. Ha ha ha. Right back at me, I guess. I did give you a short version, though. Yes, but somehow I can't help the feeling that you've omitted a few important facts. <laughs> Just some details. Yeah. Anyway, I suppose your story isn't the kind that can't be short. Still, if you feel like talking about it sometimes, I'd love to listen. I'll bear that in mind, Mitzi. Let's go back to the living room. Yeah, sure. That's a good idea. Room's great. So what do you say, Miss Ashworth? That I hope you're not going to change your mind about this. Miss Ashworth? I don't trust her anymore. What happened? Are you alright? Go away! You have to go away right now! But... Why? Miss Ashworth, what's wrong? I don't know what is happening. I knew you were one of them. I knew it! What are you talking about? Look, just try to relax. Everything's okay. But why you? Why would you want to do this to me? You have no reason! Calm down. I'm not gonna do anything to you, alright? I just want to rent a room. Nothing else. I promise. Damn, I even swear. I won't cause you any trouble, okay? Just take a deep breath. And please explain to me what's happened. I'm a little confused here. I'm also confused. Then, maybe. Oh, no. 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 She should leave. You're not safe here. You should leave. Now. Definitely. Please, Miss Ashworth, I'd really like to stay. Don't throw me out now. Well, you can't stay. You can't. If you don't go, something terrible's gonna happen to you. Please, just leave me alone. I was perfectly happy before you came. I have my cats. I have... I... You're going to die. I know. What? Yeah. I know. But how did you know, Miss Ashworth? Are you some sort of a psychic? Do you possess some kind of supernatural mind-treating abilities? Or is it just so fucking obvious? What do you mean? I... I don't know how you're going to die, but call it a hunch, if you like. That's cool. A hunch. Well, I do. I know exactly. It's already started, as a matter of fact. Do you want to see? I'll show you. Here, Miss Ashworth. Take a good look, because I'm not going to do it again. Cancer? I'm lost. I don't know what is going on. Where is that place? It's time to wake up my little pussy cat. What's the matter, sleepyhead? Had a bad dream? Uh, 
Do you want me to give you a cuddle and a kiss? Take the nightmares away. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> well, don't you worry, my sweetest. I know a thing or two about pussy cats. I can help. What do you say? Shall I take a good look at this pussy of yours? What? I don't know what is going on. Touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. Please don't hurt me. Just let me go. You are dead man. Just don't know. Let's just go with this. Well, no. Yeah, I... Touch me and I'll kill you, you sick bastard. I fucking mean it. You have no idea who I am. <laughs> You're just the crazy cat lady. That's all you are. Soon, I'll be the crazy cat lady who blew your brains out all over these fucking walls, pal. So laugh while you can. It's not long now. What is going doing? on in there? I don't know. Who's this? Did you play with this little bitch behind my back? Cause if you did, I swear to God. Me? I'd never do that. You know me, honey. You're the only girl for me. This lady here will join us for dinner. That's all. For what? Take the goddamn mask off when you talk to me. You know damn well I can't stand it. And make sure you put it back in the van so you don't fucking lose it again. Okay, okay. It's the best control guy. I was just saying, she, she's here for dinner. Good. Dinner. I'm starving. And I'm sick to death of them bloody cats! She's crazy. You nasty little whore! Trying to seduce my husband <laughs> in my own home! I'm tied up and I was How the one trying to rude. seduce her husband, yeah, that's... What? I wasn't trying anything! Shut up, you stupid bitch! No. I know what you're up to. You kept staring at him with these big green eyes. She's barren now. You yeah. want him, don't you? You think you can take him from me? Well, I've got just the thing. I always keep this bottle handy. It's bleach. The strongest you can get. What is she gonna do you with this? You give me no choice. I can't risk losing him. I have to make sure he won't be attracted to you anymore. What? You won't need these eyes and this face much longer anyway. I don't know it. Oh god, no, 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 no. It's gonna hurt. No one will do it right if you don't do it yourself. That's no good. <coughs> Teacup. So I'm playing the cat right now. So, I'm Teacup, I guess. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We're gonna continue in the next episode, and see you later. Bye-bye.